Did the thief behind the Stardust Casino heist really get away with it? It's a lingering mystery that we may have an answer to. It was a busy evening at the Stardust Casino Sportsbook in 1992 when Metro Police say cashier William Brennan put his plan into action. The sportsbook was full of gamblers for Monday Night Football and Brennan was assigned to count the money. As usual, he wrapped it up for deposit, but this time he made a run for it. I worked for, with Bill for years. He was a cashier when I was at the Stardust and uh, I always got along with him. He was a nice guy. Richard Saber at one time managed the sports book at the Stardust. Saber says the mild-mannered Brennan wasn't the type he'd expect to mastermind a heist. But Saber claims Brennan got involved with an avid gambler. Bill started hanging out with a uh, very shady character. And I used to tell Bill, I says, you know, Bill, that guy's going to get you in nothing but trouble. Investigators say Brennan walked out of the casino early Tuesday morning with half a million dollars about 225000 in cash, the rest in chips. Lieutenant Joe Greenwood was with Metro's Fraud Division. He was supposed to turn in the money at about 2, uh, 2 a.m., excuse me, and uh, at 1.30 he was observed in the hotel, and at that time uh, we believe he was leaving the hotel. So he left about 30 minutes prior to the time he was required to deposit the money. Brendan was never seen or heard from again, and both the money and the chips were never found. Moseyed on down, walked out the back door. And to this day, I say, there's no way he could have walked out that back door without someone out there waiting for him. Brennan was put on the FBI's most wanted list back then, but he's no longer a wanted man today. In 2006, the same year the Stardust closed its doors for good, his case was dismissed by the U.S. Attorney's Office here in Nevada. Still, the Brennan robbery remains a fascination. We don't know whatever happened to Brennan. Uh, for all we know, he could have been killed that night, in which case he really didn't get away. UNLV associate history professor Michael Green says our state has seen more than its fair share of unsolved robberies. Bill Brennan fits into a long Nevada tradition of people who are believed to have pulled something off or possibly uh, are found out and we never do find them or we catch them. Saber thinks Brennan was murdered for the money shortly after the heist. For Bill Brennan, to pull that off, never contact any of his family, is beyond my wildest imagination. I just don't think it could have happened. Since the Stardust Resort and Casino is now a part of Las Vegas history and Brendan isn't facing any charges, the question remains, what happened to all that money? And that's something we may never know.